Pam Teagarden was born into a tennis family. Her father, Jerry, taught Pam, her brother, Ron, and sister, Adrian, on the courts now known as the Rancho Park Tennis Center. She won her first tournament as an eight-year-old and was one of the highest ranked elite players in every age division throughout her junior career. After briefly attending Cal, Teagarden went on to establish a lengthy, successful pro career. She's just one of those great California players. I mean, terrific on all surfaces, very, very crafty, uh, beautiful hands, really knew her way around the net. Um, very annoying to play. She beat me on the biggest stage in the world at Wimbledon. I decided after that match, I might as well leave the game. Pam leaves a very nice looking career behind her. I certainly like playing with her better than I liked playing against her because she had this unbelievable backhand lob that was hard to read that she didn't miss. And then she had um, a great a great dink return that was, I mean, she was just so consistent. She was just dedicated from the time she was six years old to becoming a great, great tennis player. And um, with my dad coaching her virtually every day, we'd wake up in the morning um, uh, on a weekend and go to the tennis courts in her tennis clothes and never get out of them the whole day. And she definitely had a killer instinct. You know, that's what it takes. You know, she, she had that killer instinct that makes a real uh, professional tennis player um, great. And I'm very, very proud of Pam. I love her and the whole family. Um, it uh, feels like we've stuck together and it's been great. Always aware of tennis fashion trends, Teagarden in the 1970s was voted most watchable player at the U.S. Open. Pam was unique in many ways, not just on the tennis court. To this day, people, it's the three Pams, Pam Shriver, Pam Teagarden, and myself, and we call us, ourselves the three Pams. But um, when we traveled a lot, what I remember most was Pam always had the tips on the best flea markets, the best museums, you know, go to this play, do that. Um, I practiced with Pam and had fun with her family and um, her mom was her, her sidekick, Lil, and I knew her, her sister, Adrienne, and she played tennis and she ended up going into jewelry and all this fun stuff. Anyway, I went to her house one time after practice and I, I, I'll never forget, she was teaching me the importance of brown rice and how good it is for you and this is how you cook it and I'm looking at her like wow this is a lot <laughs> and now I'm eating brown rice I mean but she was ahead of her time. Empty garden couldn't crank an egg but most of all when she ran she looked like she was working really hard but going nowhere fast but that being said she won a lot of matches well not that congrats. In 1975 at the Bridgestone Doubles Championships she became the first woman's player to wear an all-black tennis outfit in competition. Hi, it's Ilana and Billie Jean here. We're going to love to talk about Pam Teagarden. Pam, uh, I, you know, growing up in Southern California, I saw a lot of you, and uh, I don't know about Ilana, but I always remember your black dress at Bridgestone. And we call, I called it, I christened it the tire dress, and it's Bridgestone is tires. <laughs> and you were all black that night. Shoes, everything, socks, dress. We were hysterical before we were introduced that night. We couldn't believe you had the courage or the gumption to wear that black dress back in the old days. So it was really fun. Well, I uh, had the privilege of playing against Pam um, in my career and I actually loved it any time Pam was in the tournament because to be honest, there was only one player who probably could beat their surf to net like me, and that was Pam Teagard. <laughs> so Pam, here's for all the girls with no power, but power to the people, and congrats. Uh, you've always been a dear friend, and it's always great to see you at various events throughout the year, and uh, congratulations. Uh, we're very, very happy for you. We love you, Pam. A lifelong player, coach, and aficionado, Teagarden remains involved in the game. Her well-established local roots make her a perfect inductee into the Southern California Tennis Association Hall of Fame.